Basically, the techniques and materials used in the craft of candle making have remained the same since the time when candles were the main source of domestic lighting. Then, as now, the starting point was some good wax. Nowadays, paraffin wax is most commonly used for making candles because of its good burning qualities and cheapness. It normally comes in the form of small chips, ready packed in bags of standard size and weight. As you can see, it's very clean and easy to handle. The heart of any good candle is the wick. Wicks come in many different sizes. The size of the wick refers to the diameter of the finished candle the particular wick is intended for. The wick itself is made up of braided strands of cotton, treated with chemicals to make it burn better in the candle. Here are two candles of the same size, each with different size wicks. You can see how the candle on the left with the larger wick burns faster and with a bigger flame. This means you can choose the size of wick to suit the way you want your finished candle to burn. To show us some of the techniques more clearly, David Constable is going to start by using a heat-proof glass container to melt some paraffin wax. An ordinary domestic cooker, electric or gas, is quite adequate for melting all the waxes and dyes you'll need. Paraffin wax becomes completely liquid at around 60 degrees centigrade, about the same temperature as hot milk, and when liquid looks and behaves just like water. When a length of wick is dipped into melted wax, it soaks up a small amount of the liquid, which then hardens when the wick is removed. This is called priming the wick. If this dipping is repeated after the first coat of wax has hardened, another layer of wax will stick to the coated wick. In this way, you can continue dipping using a number of different lengths of wick, some cooling and hardening while you're dipping the others, and slowly you will see slender, elegantly shaped candles forming before your eyes. This dipping technique is one of the oldest and simplest methods of making candles. To do it, all you need is just some wax, some lengths of wick, and of course a source of heat. You can see how, as the wax solidifies, the dipping process gives the candles their distinctive, simple shape. It's important to give the candles about a minute to cool between each dipping. Then, after a short time, you'll find you've made a pair of perfectly matched candles. When the ends are trimmed and finished, and the wax left to harden properly, they're ready to use. Very simple and very elegant.